What up, guys? Welcome to episode seven of Let's Talk Ant. And in today's episode, I am going to take you briefly through um, a setup composing with Pro Tools and Logic. This will be part one. Then I plan to do a part two with Cubase. Um, so this question came on Instagram and um, decided to share it because it's a, it's a thing where a lot of producers, a lot of musicians, um, their, their system and their computer sometimes isn't strong enough to hold a bunch of different tasks. So um, another way to do it is, is, is networking computers and giving a task to one computer while the other one does something else. And in my studio, I have three working machines with a fourth floater machine that I use for screen sharing, uh, for research, and to just you know move around the studio because I have these other ones placed in their position so I can't move these monitors around. Um, so I'm gonna show you, um, hopefully um, everything goes through smoothly without any glitches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you to my setup right here and I'm presenting my master mic right here and presenting my picture mic up there. You'll know it's my picture mic because of the screen savers, they're different. And my pit and my master screens have the mountains there. So <clears throat> basically what I what I like to do is uh, compose with Pro Tools slaved into logic and so i'm going to open up the file that i set for you guys here let me see which screen i'm going to use i could use either or okay let me just put this back so i'm going to open up the picture the media part and i'm going to open up in my master mac the the logic where i plan to write so if I find it right here and forgive all the files there is that I am working in multiple projects and I got to have those files on my master screen for easy access. So basically what you see here, you see um, a restore your iLock cloud session. It's because I have Pro Tools on all the, in, in two machines. So when I'm not using Pro Tools in my master, it tells me that it's gonna close the cloud session in my master and open it up here and this in the picture Mac so I can use Pro Tools there. So uh, I'm gonna activate it, activate Pro Tools to open here. And it's saying that it's gonna open up the cloud session. It's gonna close the cloud session here. So basically I won't be able to use Pro Tools in my master computer because I don't have two licenses for Pro Tools, I only have one. Um, so right now I'm using the cloud license on the picture Mac. And then over here, I'm opening up Logic as you can see there. Um, <clears throat> so, so you'll see both of these DAWs opening up right now. Okay, so Logic opens up first and Pro Tools should be opening any second now. So this is like real time, um, a real time uh, music block. So in the meantime, while that's opening, I go into my settings here. So just to double check, you know, your settings, you always wanna right click and, and, and hit the customize control bar and display. And you wanna make sure you wanna make sure that your sync is clicked on, okay? Let me see if you can see my mouse right there. Sync, and you're gonna press okay. Let me show my, my iPhone stand doesn't fall apart. Okay, and press okay. Um, next thing you wanna do is you wanna go into your, um, <clears throat> this is gonna pop up, this little clock thingy. Let me see if I can show you that okay and so what you want to do is you want to right click it 
make sure SMT sync MTC is is clicked on. Okay, right there. You're gonna go into your synchronization settings. Make sure that you know the frames per second is the same as the movie. So basically, um, it's set at 59 right now. So we're gonna double check that and then uh, make sure that's on the hour over here. Okay, right there on the hour. Okay, and then you come out of there. Well, actually, then you gotta go to MIDI. There's a MIDI tab here. You go to MIDI, make sure that your network is the destination because you have two different machines. So therefore, you gotta make sure that your network is the one in the destination and make sure you hit MTC right there in the middle. And that should be all good. Now, if you're using, if you're using Pro Tools and Logic in the same machine, it's okay. When it comes to the destination part, you just have to click your IAC uh, where you have the two A, the two A DAWs working together, okay? Um, so, but in my case, I have two different Macs happening and so, I gotta choose the network as my destination, okay? All right, so we close that out. I think uh, Logic is ready. So now we're gonna come here to Pro Tools, to the Picture Mac. I'm going to import, uh, let me see something here. Something is up here. I have no idea what's going on. Let me see my uh, if I go over here to my middle scene my middle screen. Okay, so I go into my uh, Pro Tools file. Go into import. You want to import the movie, um, and we're gonna ch we're gonna work with this one. So this one, I have it set to session start. <clears throat> session start, it's processing the audio. So right now you're looking at two machines, okay? You're looking at the picture Mac and the master Mac. So in your Pro Tools, you want to make sure that you right click that and you make sure that your synchronization is checked. Um, MTC should be highlighted right there. Can you see that, guys? MTC. And then the clock has to be highlighted as well. So you can see the blinking is happening right there. Okay. Um, and so, since that, since the settings there are set and over here, one thing I want to make sure is that my um, you go to utilities on your you know on your slave Mac, go to the audio setup, and just to make sure that, um, just to make sure that your the network is connected. All right. Uh, show MIDI Studio, then go to MIDI Studio and go to open MIDI um, setup, network setup. And see right now, my master Mac is not connected. So I have to click on Ant, well I have Ant Master Mac and I'm gonna connect it and now it's connected. So that's one of the things you have to do. Well, actually, the first thing you have to do um, is connected through my um, Ethernet hub that's here. So I have one, two, three, four machines communicating with each other when I do connect it. So I have to go to the audio setup and create that connection. Sometimes I have that off just to keep it off, just to save energy. So um, sometimes I have to reconnect through there, okay? So looking at both of these, both of these Macs, right now you can see the picture on one of the screens for my picture Mac. I'm trying to get this thing to, to stay. Okay, cool. 
So I'm gonna close all these boxes and now we're gonna check it out. So since, it, since the logic is the master um, Mac, I am writing here and dialogue and everything else is there. So another thing that you wanna keep in mind is that since I'm doing two machines, the audio for the picture Mac is connected through optical into my master interface. Um, and the master interface is what controls this through optical. So over here, let me just see, make sure that the, the, the connections are good. It's good. So you can, you can see four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I'm gonna open up the, let me see. Give you guys the, um, over here, I believe it is, I think it's over here. Yeah, I can give you guys the, the, the timestamp, I believe over here, yeah. But what I wanna do is I wanna, I wanna bring it out, uh, open, open giant time display. Okay, so we put it over here. So you can see that the, the pitch, the master Mac, the time matches the picture Mac. As you can see the time, you can actually put it side by side. Okay. So when I stop, that stops. Now check this out. There is some type of surgical thing that you do have to do if you're writing in Mac. The sync has a few seconds delay. It doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong. It just means that you have to add negative bars on your writing doll to give it time to communicate with your computer. And it doesn't matter if it's two machines or you have Pro Tools and Logic in one machine. There, is, there are still seconds of communication happening. So uh, you can add negative measures in your writing doll so by the time it reaches the first measure, the first measure there also starts at the same time. So basically, this is this is how it looks. So you have the the master Mac and the picture Mac. They're gonna start on the same on the same measure. So right now I have this set like this, and now what I want to do is I want to show you. the beats and bars as well for here. Okay. So you'll see one, one, you'll see that they're, they're both going to be synced. Three. Four. You see? 10, 11, 12. So they're synced. And the only way to do that, um, you gotta give your writing DAW an opportunity to send out the information to Pro Tools. Um, and again, it doesn't matter if it's in the same system, it doesn't matter if it's two different machines, you gotta have consideration for the diff for the other doll. You know what I mean? It's not gonna be, um, it's not gonna, they're both not gonna start where you want them to start unless you add some negative measures. And you can, you know, I can really show you guys that if you want to, you let me know and we can do a, a vlog or an episode um, showing you how to do negative measures so that way, um, you have time to start something on the one or on the first measure. In a lot of cases, forget about the picture and the, and the master. A lot of cases when we're recording something, um, I tend to leave measure one and start on measure two uh, because there's, there's songs that have a pickup line. But if you do want to start on measure one when you're writing in your DAW logic, you can put a negative measure 
negative one, I think it is, or negative or zero, whatever it is, that gives you a, an opportunity to get ready. So, you know, there's a few moving parts there. Um, so this is how you would actually sync it. First thing you want to do is go to your audio setup, utilities. I mean, you go to, uh, you click, you click go, you go to um, utilities, go to audio MIDI setup, this is gonna come out, it says audio devices there. You wanna go to your window, show MIDI Studio. This is gonna come out, and then you wanna go to your, I think is a MIDI Studio tab, and go open MIDI network setup. And right there, it has, it shows my master Mac is connected. Um, my VSL machine is not on, so if it was to be on, it's gonna show there as well, but I don't need to do that. So uh, I just need I just need my master mat connected there, and <clears throat> setting up a network setup is also another video. So if you're interested in that, you let me know. I just wanted to show you guys how I sync Pro Tools and Logic to make my writing more efficient and not have to worry about having the media, the movie, or the scene or the cue in the same space as where I write music. Now, that's a different workflow. I will tell you that there's times where I just compose to picture in the same doll. If I see that it's a quick situation. So if I see that, you know, I need to spend time and, and, and creating something, you know, unique and different, or I need to, you know, do something, you know, out of the ordinary, then I use both machines, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, episode seven of Let's Talk Ants. If you have any questions about syncing Pro Tools to Logic, let me know. Just remember that Pro Tools in my setup is slaved to Logic, not the other way around. You could do it the other way around, but I don't do it that way at the moment. Um, but it's I'm sure that it's an easy way to do it. But for what I need to do, slave uh, pro tools is slave to logic okay guys thank you for watching let me know if you have any questions i'll see you on the next one episode eight peace